everyone starts from scratch. And then it's who you know. When you move here, find a community. Yeah. Get into a class. Yeah. It takes uh, training. So many actors think that these casting director workshops are training. Well, it's like the diet industry, where people will spend billions of dollars to try and find the easy fix, the magic yeah. pill, the mm -hmm. what, it, what is the, the one thing I need to do that will make this immediately work. Yeah. And it's exactly the same. It's yeah. hard work and discipline over time. Yeah. And nobody wants to hear that. You know, knowledge is power. Uh, maybe. Action is power. What are my skills? What are my talents? Yeah. And how can I powerfully generate income that supports my art? I'll tell you, the most important thing that I'll probably say in this session today is right here. Your credit. I find more actors interested in their snar being on IMDb than their credit score. But, but you're, and, that's a, and that's a fact because you credit score is so important. I honestly think actors have five things that they have to do. Show up on time, which I'm always a great actor. I'll let you maul the irony of that. <laughs> A more successful actor auditions on a continuum, and each audition isn't an event of itself. Now, you're not going to be right for every part you go in on. I always take the attitude of, I'm ready to be wowed. Your goal going into the room should not be to book the job, it should be to make fans. Ah, oh, man, you were great. You know, I'm sorry, but like, I, I really need to cast somebody older than you. And he said, okay, you know, it's like, you know, this other part, and I tried that to him, I'm like, yeah, sure. I went to his car where he had, like, a different shirt, shaved, like, his facial hair off, came back in, and blew me away and got the gig. In television, you cannot fuck around with the world. <laughs> this is not, this is not PBS. Will. We're I'm letting take let it go. The gloves here. <laughs> I went into this audition for NYPD Blue, a interrogation scene, right, when Jimmy Smith had got on the show, and he's supposed to be choking me up against a wall. The cast person was across the desk. Big desk at Fox, and there was no way that person was going to be throwing me up against the wall. So the scene started and I choked myself. And I <laughs> throw myself against the wall. And I'm this guy. So this hand is now Jimmy Smith's. And so I'm choking yeah. myself and Jimmy Smith is choking me. And at one point I kind of force it off and it goes back. <laughs> at one point I noticed I probably am going to pass out. <laughs> because I'm hyperventilating. And you kind of oxygen your brain. Myself, and Jimmy Smith is really strong. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You booked a pilot. Pilot got picked up. How many years for that to happen from the time you started working as an actor? Thirteen and a half years. People move to town and they're <laughs> like, I'm going to give myself a year to get the lay of the land and then I'm going to book a pilot next mm -hmm. pilot season. Yes, and if not, I'm out of here. And the phrase I hate more than any other phrase is there are no small actors, just small parts. No, they're a small part and there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. I mean, does anybody have any fucking idea what an accomplishment it is to get four lines on a television show in Hollywood? The greatest testament to Marcy's persuasive ability is that she's turned more than a couple no fucking ways into actual people who are in the movie. Lindsay yeah. Lohan in Oh, the first Freaky time. Friday. Oh yeah, that's absolutely right. <laughs> this is all good shit too because she came in and she showed up and she decided she needed to be tan for the audition. She came in and she was like for the screen orange. Test. She was orange. She was like oranger than Snooky, you know what I mean? She was like she was like Syracuse or you know football players, you know, like in yeah, the yeah. war paint and we, we, and we were, were like <gasps> you know. I remember I was running camera for a pilot and these two guys came in and it came down to them two in the room. It was a guest star that probably would have occurred and I remember sitting here going like, now I'm two years in and I'm bitching to my roommate and I'm going like, why the hell am I not getting pilot auditions? What the, you know, and you're all mad. But when they laugh and Chris just go, yeah, what do you think? And we got this guy and we got this guy. And they looked at Eric and Eric goes, they're great. I've known them both for 20 years. I think you find after a while that if you are putting out this great energy, people will want to be around you.